Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Today I have the Galaxy Note 3 model is N9005. And uh, I was getting a request how to flash Android version 11 on Galaxy Note 3. Yes, Galaxy Note 3, which was launched back in 2013, and believe me, still the Galaxy Note 3 is doing a great job in 2022. There are many users who are still using Galaxy Note 3 in 2022. And I was getting a request how to flash and white version 11 on Galaxy Note 3. And uh, the reason is that there are many applications. Downloading it from Google Play Store is not supporting anymore the Android version 5. So basically, if we flash the unofficial Android version 11 on Galaxy Note 3, all those applications will work on Android version 11 on Galaxy Note 3 and you can have all those applications running on Galaxy Note 3. Now, before moving forward, if you find my videos are helpful, just considering subscribing it by tap or the pressing the red color subscribe button, press the YouTube bell icon, select all. Thank you for doing that. Your set must be on Android version 5. If you want to flash the uh, Android version 11 on Galaxy Note 3. If the set is on Android version 4, the Android version 11 will not get boot on Android version 4. The set must be on Android version 5 to let the Android version 11 work on Galaxy Note 3. Right. Now, the most important thing is to save all the internal storage data. This procedure will wash everything, will format everything. So, all the data will get lost. So, better to save the data. Check the battery should be charged minimum to 50 to 60 percent. And then go to settings. In case if you are using lock screen password, then turn it off. Just select the swipe screen lock and then go to settings again. Go to general and the important thing is, in case if you are using Samsung account, remove the Samsung account. Must remove the Samsung account because the Samsung account, if remains there, will not let to flash the custom recovery. And sync your Google account once, then remove it. Right. Moving forward now, if you have done all these things, you can power off the mobile phone and we need data cable and computer for this flashing procedure few files that we need to download by the taking a help of computer now moving towards my computer screen this is my downloaded folder and obviously i have provided the, all the links in my video description just make a new folder and download all these files first of all download the samsung usb driver and install it on your windows what it will do after connecting the set or after booting the mobile phone in Odin mode, connecting it with Windows, Windows will detect the drivers, will detect the set and will install all the drivers automatically if you have installed the Samsung USB driver on your Windows. I have already installed it, so I don't need to reinstall it, but you must in install it first and then Extract the platform tools folder in same folder, then extract the minimal ADB fast boot file here and then extract Odin 3.13.1. Now open the extracted minimal ADB folder again and copy the CMD here file from this folder. Go back, open the extracted platform tools folder and paste that file CMD here in this folder right now come back to the main downloaded folder and copy line age 18.1 and line age 18.1 custom recovery this one is the rom file and white version 11 and this is the custom recovery requires for flashing the rom both file copy it from here and open the extracted plate farm tools folder paste that both files here now rename the custom recovery from line age 18.1 simply click on it then press f2 and rename it by giving a name recovery r e c o v e r y simple is that just then tap, press enter key 
must check the file again. The file must be recovery dot img. Now come to the cmd here. Right click on it and then left click on the run as administrator. Click yes in next on next window. The command window black in color will open will pop up on your computer screen. Now I have provided a command in video description. Just go there and copy that command from the video description and then paste it on the command window. I will show which command is that. This is the command. Basically, we need to convert recovery image file from a IMG to TAR to let the Odin software will flash the custom recovery on Galaxy Note 3. So copy all the command from the video description which is provided in there and then come to the command window and press Ctrl V on keyboard. The command will paste on the command window then press enter and the recovery image file is converted from recovery.img to recovery.tar. Here we go. You can see the original recovery.img file is remains there and we got another file that recovery.tar. Right. Now come to the downloaded folder and open the extracted Odin 3.13.1 then double click the Odin 3.13.1 file click OK on next window the Odin will get open on your computer screen now come here and click AP then locate that uh, recovery file which we just convert from IMG to recovery.tar which must be in play extracted plate farm tools folder here we go you can see recovery.tar. Click on it and then click open. The Odin is ready to flash the recovery file on Galaxy Note 3. Now come to the options and untick the auto reboot. Untick the auto reboot and then come back to log. Now coming towards my mobile phone. We need to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. For that the phone must be power off. Press and hold the volume down key first and then home key and then power key. When uh, set vibrates and warning screen appears, immediately release all three keys. Press and hold the volume down key, home key and then power key. Just hold it press. The warning screen will get appear. Release all three keys immediately. You will see a warning screen and you can see press volume up key for continue. Press volume up key for once, the set will boot into Odin mode. Now, I would like to show us something here on this Odin mode screen that the model is N9005 and current binary is Samsung official because I am having a Samsung official ROM and system status is official, yes, and the reactivation log must be off. In case if you find it on, then go back, boot into stock ROM and remove the Samsung account. Then you will see the reactivation lock will get off. And that's it. Now our my set is booted into Odin mode and connect the cable with mobile phone. The other side of this cable must be connected with computer. After connecting the cable with mobile phone, the Odin will show here you can see COM3, COM5, whatever you see, which means that the set is being detected by the windows and also by the Odin. Now come again to the options. Check the auto reboot must be untick. Come back to the lock screen and simply uh, click the start button. The recovery will start flashing. You will see it will get end soon with a confirmation that Reset, pass and all threads completed, succeeded 1, failed 0. We are done Reco uh, flashing a custom recovery. You can close by clicking the exit button on Odin mode and come back to the downloaded folder. Then double click the extracted platform tool folder and come back to the mobile phone. First, disconnect the cable from mobile phone. The set must be still in Odin mode. 
we need to boot the set into custom recovery. For that, just simply remove the battery first from mobile phone, right? And then reinsert the battery. And now we have to boot the set into custom recovery. For that, press and hold the volume up key, then home key, and then power key. And when you see, you see the logo of Galaxy Note 3, you will see here recovery booting. Let me show. Recovery booting. Yes, that's it. We got the recovery flashed and the set will start booting into custom recovery soon. Finally, we got the line age custom recovery on Galaxy Note 3. Now, here I would like you to do few things. First thing is to tap the factory reset. And then format data factory reset tap it here then confirm it by tapping the format data after when it is done then tap the back button come to the main screen now connect the cable with mobile phone and obviously other side of this cable must be connected with computer after connecting the cable with mobile phone, tap the apply update and then tap apply from ADB. The set is booted into ADB site load mode. Yes, coming back towards my computer screen. I am already in my extracted plate farm tools folder. You can see it here and already my command window is open. I didn't close my command window. Now come to the downloaded folder that is uh, extracted plate farm tools folder and uh, click on the uh, custom rom that is line age 18.1 press f2 rename this uh, file name from line age 18.1 simple type rom and press enter just check the rom file i have renamed the file i have make it short by renaming it from line age 18.1 to rom simple like that come towards uh, the command window and type the command to start the flashing custom rom on galaxy note 3 that is adb space devices press enter to check the set is properly connected with computer yes after getting these numbers and the set is booted into site load mode, which means the set is properly connected with computer. Now type the command to start flashing. That is ADB space SIDELOD site load and ROM.ZIP. Press enter. The ROM flashing will start. Just wait for it. Let the flashing complete. Then we will continue. Doesn't matter if you see the percentage is not moving from 47%. The ADB site load mode flashing procedure always gets end on 47%. And no worries if you see the fail to read command, no error. No worries because ROM already flash. Now, we need to flash the Google applications also because the this custom ROM Android version 11 is not having the Google applications. So we need Google Play Store for downloading the application after flashing the ROM or after booting the mobile, uh, custom ROM on mobile phone. Now come to the main downloaded folder. Come back to the main downloaded folder. Copy the open gaps ARM 11.0 from here and then open the extracted plate farm tools folder and paste that file here and then rename it like uh, press f2 and just simple g a p p s that's it press enter i have renamed the google application file now come again to command window and once again coming back towards my mobile phone screen tap apply from ADB, the set will again boot it into ADB site load mode. Come to the window screen, the command window, the black color and type the command for flashing the Google application that is ADB space SIDELOAD site load space GAPPS dot ZIP. Press enter. The flashing will start it. Just wait for it. Let it complete. Then we will continue.
and once again you see that the flashing of google application is done and once again if you see the percentage got and on 47 percent finally we are done from the flashing procedure and we are done from the computer now you can close everything coming back towards my mobile phone screen disconnect the cable from mobile phone first and simply tap the back button come back to the main screen of custom recovery tap reboot system now the mobile phone will start booting into android version 11 the custom rom which is line age 18.1 the first boot will take a little time wait for it finally finally the rom booted and no worries if you find or if you see speech service by google keep stopping just tap on the close application this error comes sometime and it doesn't bother you again now complete the setup screen finally we got the android version 11 line h 18.1 on galaxy note 3 rom is flashed properly and perfectly connect the wi-fi on your mobile phone if you are having mobile data then turn it on okay i got the internet connection now i will go to my mobile phone settings to show the settings screen is changed now going to about phone and here we go you can see the model is still n9005 and if i go further tapping it on android version 11 here you can see version we got now android version 11 line age 18.1 and the security patch level if you see december 5 2021 and you must see the base band version numbers there which means that rom got flash perfectly and uh, the rom will work the network will work perfectly uh, my mobile phone battery is not good it's weak so that, that's why uh, my battery drains out and i need to change the battery because the set is old and the uh, battery is also getting old and old thank you for watching if you got helped by this video do not forget to like it do not forget to subscribe my channel we'll see you in my next video until then Goodbye.